looking at the burp suite target tab this is the leftmost tab it's a basic tab that shows the site that's being looked at all the different pages it allows you to set the scope and look at the site map it's probably the most important tab because all of the other tabs work off of this tab in order to do their job so what we have is we have Firefox which uses proxy switcher to connect to burp suite what this means is that under tools options network and settings we've configured a manual proxy configuration of localhost 8080 pointing to burp and burp suite is configured to listen on port 8080 we don't have any upstream proxy servers or anything set this is a very simple configuration of where firefox is talking to burp suite and Burp Suite is talking to the web server. So this makes Burp Suite an interception proxy or a client side proxy. So the way that the target tab works is we'll browse to a site. In this case, we'll just refresh the main Matilda Day homepage. And we can see that as the page passes through Burp Suite and then comes back through Burp Suite on the way from the server back to the Firefox, that it it records all the addresses that are seen. So this includes the main address, the page that we're looking at, which is localhost, plus all of the links on the pages that were parsed. The site that is the main site is going to appear in black letters, and the sites that are links from that main site are going to appear more gray. There will be a lock symbol next to HTTPS sites. The sitemap tab is important because it allows you to control what Burp Suite looks at in its proxy. If we right click on localhost we can say add item to scope and we can also choose to spider from this point down. If we select add item to scope the scope tab will turn red and it'll include this item in the scope. It sets the pattern for you. You can uncheck this to temporarily take the item out of scope and then later put the item back into scope. We can also exclude things from scope if we just want to keep a certain page or a certain section of the site out. Having something in scope is important because it affects the proxy quite a bit. So the proxy in intercept mode will capture what goes through Burp Suite and by default it captures everything that passes through. In this case, we've turned the intercept on and trapped the request to get the Matilda Day homepage, which resulted from hitting F5. We can forward that to the server and wait for the server to respond, and we can see the response. Now the response is trapped inside of Burp Suite. It hasn't reached the page yet, so Firefox has still got the waiting symbol going, and it'll continue to do that until we let the response come back. We can forward the response to the browser and let it render the page, and then Firefox will indicate that it's done. So there's another request that's trying to capture what appears to be a JPEG image. We can forward that one as well, and so on. Having something in scope allows us to go to the options tab of the proxy and choose the option of intercept if the URL is in scope. This is very handy because we can avoid intercepting pages that are not in scope, and we also want to say if the file extension doesn't match pictures to keep from capturing those. We are capturing the JPEG extension. Change that. We're just going to make sure JPEG, JEPEG, and JPEG are in there and make sure this option is checked. And the server responses when the picture came back it didn't have that so let's edit that one and add JPEG in there. I'm going to copy paste this pattern and then just type over one of the copies. So, using the interception options and the target options and the scope options, we can choose what Burp Suite will intercept and what it'll let pass through without intercepting it in the proxy header.